Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know, just just letting it all soak in, really. It was uh, it was a tough day. You know, it's uh, when you're sitting on the lead and you, you get to sleep on it, it's a little different to, to the last time I won. So, uh, yeah, I was just pleased with the way I came out this morning. Um, came out with a good attitude of kind of attacking early. Um, and, yeah, just a great day. And having my family here made it just incredible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my wife's been talking about that for for a while. I think since my first win, she's been like, "Man, you'd, it'd be great if you could have that moment with with us all there." And you know, we finally got it, and I'm so so happy they were here. We talked a little bit yesterday about Omaha. You said you didn't really feel many nerves that week. Today, coming in as you know, with the lead, many nerves kick in for you. Um, yeah, a little. I mean, it's fully natural. Like it's it's going to happen no matter how many times you've won. Um, so yeah, a little bit, but uh, you know, the more times you're there, the the easier it becomes. So uh, yeah, I was able to keep it under control and kind of enjoy it. It's something you can use towards the end of a round to, uh, you know, give you a little extra boost. How's that walk coming up 18, knowing it's two putt and you're winner? In one well, I didn't know that because I was convinced Tom was going to chip in for eagle, so I was still focused. That's why I was aggressive on my wedge shot here. You know, I I've seen Tom chip before, so I I thought he was going to make eagle. Um, so I was thinking I had to make birdie, and that was my goal, standing in the fairway. Um, so I didn't really get to enjoy it until Tom had uh, hit it up there close, and I could just two put it in. Originally from England, yeah. But now you call the state of Georgia. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you said it. I mean, there's, there's only one tournament a year in my home state, so it was uh, yeah incredible. You know, you circle this one in the calendar. Um, there's a couple I circle every year, um, and this is one that you know was always going to be high on the list for me. And to get it done here, and to have Kristen and the boys be able to come down was a dream come true. Really, to be honest, that's that's the only thing I can say. Um, it's it's pretty positional off the tee. Um, you don't have to hit a bunch of drivers. Uh, you can if you want to, but with it being firm and the wind direction this week. Um, I was able to lean on, you know, being pretty accurate with my three wood and my two iron. Um, and then, you know, from there, from the fairway, you've just got to be smart because the greens are so quick and the fall offs each side are so severe. Um, you've just got to be smart. And I did a great job of keeping it the right side of the hole all week. With the win, obviously, having the points, shooting up the points list, how much does that help mentality moving forward the rest of the um, Yeah, I, I, I was already in a pretty good spot. I'm I, 30th after four events is I think that's the best I've ever been so I was feeling I was feeling good going into this week um, you know we've got a run of tournaments coming up and uh, you know I was just trying to give myself an opportunity to take a week off somewhere and not feel like I had to play every week so I'd, yeah just getting that jump up the points list is huge for me yeah indescribable something I've dreamt about since you know since Kristen and I got married probably you know it's, it's something that you see on TV all the time and you see guys have that moment and to have that finally be me was indescribable I I couldn't do it justice and I'm gonna treasure it for the rest of my life it's kind of, kind of a funny story about your boys right they, they were supposed to have a baseball right thought it was gonna be called off mm -hmm. and then Right, exactly, yeah. Kristen, uh, Kristen made the spontaneous decision when it was cancelled to make the five-hour drive down here, um, which isn't like her, so I was proud of her for making that decision. And then, uh, yeah, I got an email 30 minutes after they set off saying, you know, game's back on, sorry. Um, but then, you know, Bennett was the one who had the game, my middle one, and we asked him, what do you want to do? And you ask a five-year-old if you want to go on a trip or you want to stay home, he's going to pick the trip every time, so... Yeah, it couldn't have worked out better. I mean, it's it was, yeah. Um, they managed to win the baseball game without him, so that was good. But, uh, yeah, just worked out so great. Uh, during the ceremony, you told the crowd about how this event distinguished itself mm. with the players. Could you just kind of revisit that? And yeah. Um, yeah, exactly what I said. I mean, it's. I think if you took a poll, it would be in everyone's top three. Um, just from quality of golf course to uh, quality of the, the crowds, the support, um, 
the area like it's it's got everything you want for a championship event and it's proven it this week i mean it's the course showed out amazingly it's it's definitely one of the best venues we play each year and the tournament just keeps getting better and better and better and it's uh it's definitely very close to the top of the list for sure yeah honored um I, I know the guys who have won here and yeah like you said they've done great things you've got to play well to win here you can't fake it you've got to hit it where you're looking so yeah hopefully i can follow sam burns a little <laughs>